Hi everyone, and welcome to the Snapshot New York project. I'm Jo Lee, your citizen science coordinator, and we're so happy that you decided to join us. First, I'm gonna give you a little bit of background information on the project, and then we'll get into the details of what your role as a citizen scientist is. Snapshot New York is a collaborative trail camera project between the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, Cornell University, and volunteers across New York State. Our goal is to collect images of mammals and other wildlife using trail cameras set out across the state. Over half the land in New York State is privately owned, which makes it difficult for biologists to study animals thoroughly across the landscape. This is where you come in. We need citizen scientists to help us detect mammals in those hard to reach places. Collecting both quantity and quality of data is important, so we're going to make sure you have all the tools at your disposal to become the most effective citizen scientist you can be. See our other chapters for more specific information and training on how to participate in the Snapshot New York project. So you've decided to join the Snapshot New York project. Your first step is going to be to go to our website and sign up for an account if you haven't already done so. You can sign up for an account by visiting www.snapshotny.org and clicking on the yellow Sign Up button. This will bring you to your account portal page. You'll be prompted to enter an email address and create a password. You should get a verification email to the email address you entered. Once you have confirmed your email, click on the Profile button and fill out your information. Next, navigate to My Grid Cells and select the yellow Survey a New Grid Cell button. Use the map to move around and find the location of where you would like to set up your camera or enter your address. Once you have located your grid cell, click on it. A message will pop up telling you if the grid cell is available for reservation. If it is, click Request Cell. If the grid cell you want is taken, you will be prompted to apply to the waitlist. If the current volunteer can no longer participate, you will be contacted about setting up a camera in that grid cell. After you have successfully requested your grid cell, it will prompt you to fill out the information about the property you're setting your camera on. In this process, you will be asked if you want to be considered for a camera loan. If you select yes, you'll be asked to provide an address so we can ship the camera loan materials directly to your door. A Snapshot New York team member will review and approve or deny your loan a camera application and be in contact with you. Once all your information is filled out, click Submit. Great, your application has been approved. So what's next? You should get an email from a Snapshot New York team member with more information. If you're using your own camera, you can go on to the next chapter. Speaking of equipment, let's go over what you'll be sent in your welcome package. First, you will be sent either a Reconyx, Bushnell, or Browning camera, as well as a lockbox to protect it from being tampered with. You will also be provided with an adjustable strap to fix your camera around a tree. To secure the lockbox, you will be provided with either a cable lock or a padlock and a key. We will also send you an initial set of batteries and two SD cards. We will also include a sign to label your camera if you wish. Lastly, we will send you a detailed guide to your camera trap deployment and two smaller quick guides you can take into the field with you. For details on how to choose a location for your camera and how to set the correct settings for your camera, check out our next training video. Choosing a camera site is one of the most important parts of setting up your camera. You wanna find a place where a variety of wildlife will visit. Wildlife can be elusive, so if you don't frequently see any mammals or other wildlife, don't worry, we have some tips for you. Mammals and other wildlife like to use already established trails, such as hiking paths and game trails. They will usually take the easiest route to get somewhere. Try to imagine where you would want to go if you were a deer, for example. It is best to place your camera at an angle facing a trail to capture the widest view of the trail. Mammals and other wildlife are generally attracted to bodies of water like ponds and streams. For example, a great place to put a camera would be where a log has fallen across the stream, acting as a bridge for wildlife to cross. If you don't have access to a body of water or a trail, that's okay. You can place your camera along forest field edges or on the edge of an opening in the forest. You should try to choose a site that won't be frequented by humans, birds, or livestock. Farm field with crop rows are okay, as they often attract wildlife, but livestock fields will capture unnecessary photos of farm animals and max out your SD card space quickly. Bird feeders or any other artificial feeding grounds should also be avoided for this reason. You should also try to avoid placing the camera where it will pick up on vehicles driving by frequently. The site you choose should have a relatively flat topography, which will provide the best view of wildlife. 
It is very important to make sure your camera has a clear line of view. You should remove any low-hanging branches with a saw or clippers, as well as clear any vegetation on the ground that might trigger the camera when it moves. Now that you know where you should place your camera, let's talk about how you should place it. First, your camera should be placed at about knee height or roughly one to two feet off the ground. This will capture the widest variety of mammal species from squirrels to fox to deer. There should be about 30 to 50 feet of clearing in front of your camera. Ideally, the camera will be facing north to avoid the sun from triggering the camera and getting dark photos with sun glares. If you can't face it north, the next best option is south. Again, your camera would ideally be pointed towards a trail. Now let's go through some of the camera settings together. First, you'll need to put batteries and an SD card in your camera and turn it on. If your camera is new or has been reset since its last use, it will prompt you to set up the date, time, time format, location, state, latitude and longitude, and a daylight savings option, as well as temperature and battery type. Next, you will navigate to change setup. Do this by pressing the right arrow once and press OK. Make sure motion pictures is on. Press OK. Use the arrows to change the number of pictures to 10. Press OK. Set the quiet period to no delay and press OK. Set time between pictures to one second. Press OK. Set the sensitivity to high and press OK. Turn the motion video off and press OK. Set the motion schedule to 24 hours and press OK. When you reach the finished screen, press OK one more time. Your camera settings are now correct and you're ready to start your camera deployment. To start your camera deployment, you will need to use our Snapshot New York app. If you haven't already downloaded it, you can find it on your Google Play or Apple Store by searching Snapshot New York. Make sure you are at the location that you wish to set up your camera since your phone will automatically record your location for you. Open your app, click on the drop down menu, and select My Grid Cells. Find your grid cell and select the Create Deployment button. It will ask you if you are familiar with the process for setting up a trail camera with Snapshot New York. If you have made it this far, hopefully you are. Check to make sure you have everything with you and enter the camera make and model into the app. It will then ask if you are at the location and ready to start the camera. Select yes. It will ask if the map below displays your correct location. Select yes if it is correct. If you are having issues with your location services, there's an option to select no and manually enter your GPS coordinates. Go to the next tab. Go through the checklist to double check that your camera settings are correct and go to the next tab. Indicate whether or not your camera is set on a trail and what height your camera is set at. Indicate whether or not you are using an attractant. We do not recommend you use an attractant in our protocol. However, if some attractant was already applied, we would like to know. Check that you have removed all the vegetation around your camera and indicate whether or not your camera is facing north. At this point, your camera should be ready to go. Depending on the model of your camera, you might need to select arm camera to get it started. Make sure it is turned on and working by conducting a walk test. Walk a few feet back in front of your camera. The LED light should be visible and flashing when you move. If it is, you're set to go. Give your deployment a nickname and press save in your app to complete your camera deployment. After a couple of weeks, it will be time to check your camera. You'll need to bring a change of batteries, an empty SD card, and the key to your lock. You might want to bring some clippers or trimmers in the growing season, and a small shovel in the winter months. Also bring a copy of your guide if you need it. You can check the status of your camera's battery life and SD card capacity here. If your batteries are lower than 50%, you may wish to swap them out just to prevent the batteries from dying before you check on your camera next. Next, you'll swap out your current SD card with an empty one. This way you can take the SD card back with the pictures on it and upload them on our website. We will go through uploading your photos momentarily. When you go to switch out your SD card, make sure you record this on your Snapshot New York app. Turn off your camera, open your app, click the drop down menu, and select My Deployments. Find your current deployment, which should be at the top, and select Swap SD Card. The app will ask you if you would like to complete this deployment and create a new record for it. Press OK. This will automatically start a new deployment for you after you have switched out your old SD card. Once you have switched out the batteries and SD card, turn your camera back on and ensure it is working properly. You can check the functioning of your camera by doing the walk test you performed at setup. If the LED light is flashing, your camera is still working. You will also want to look around your camera site to make sure no snow has accumulated in the winter or any vegetation has grown back in the warmer months. Now let's get into uploading your photos after retrieving your SD card.
You will need a laptop or desktop computer that has stable internet connection and an SD card slot. Otherwise, you will need an SD card reader that plugs into the USB port of your laptop or desktop. We have a few of these available upon request. Go to the Snapshot New York website and log into your account. Select My Deployments. Find your deployment and click on Upload Photos. The information on your deployment should be auto-populated. Click Next twice until you get to the Upload tab. Click Browse and navigate to the folder you saved your photos from your SD card in. You will not be able to upload individual files, so your photos must be contained within a folder. Press Upload and then Upload Selected Files. You should get a confirmation message that your photos have been successfully uploaded. Don't forget to press Submit to finalize the upload. If you have an unusually large amount of photos and are having trouble uploading, please contact us at snapshotny at cornell.edu and we will assist you. We hope you enjoyed this all-in-one informational video about participating in the Snapshot New York project. You can return to each of these chapters anytime you need a refresher. And don't forget we have a written guide for all of this information as well. If you have any questions that we missed in these videos, feel free to reach out to us anytime. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you find.